Mask on, mask off. We're CDC compliance here, so. And you can't tell you're smiling when you have the mask on. You ever realize hidden. that? It's a complete difference. Uh, <laughs> very, very special guest today. Larry Podwell, Club Rame and Spotlight. We're here in the prep area in the beautiful Porsche of West Palm Beach. Very dear friend, colleague from iHeart, host of WJNO's Morning Rush. Thrilled to have you here, Brian Mudd. It's a pleasure, and actually I spend a fair amount of time here anyway, so it's just another great <laughs> excuse to come to uh, Porsche by Bremen. And, uh, you know, the, the, the cars, the experience here, it's, it's always fun. Uh -huh. This room is fun because they make a lot of good memories here. It's amazing. We've been here on several occasions. Yeah. The, uh, the grand opening events a couple years ago, uh, second to none, and we'll be back with the big events again. We spun out the spotlight just to keep our members engaged. You, above and beyond all the other accoutrements, which we'll, we'll get to, the mud trifecta. <laughs> Brian Mudd, his charming wife Ashley, mother-in-law, all drive Bremen vehicles. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And I mean, once you have the Bremen experience, it makes sense. And once you get behind the wheel of a Porsche, well, you, you never want to drive anything else. So yeah. you put the two together and it just, it's... So you're on your second Porsche now. Uh, yes, second for me. Um, my wife, Ashley, she has a Cayenne. I have a Cayman Boxster. Uh, and uh, the, we, we have our, our eyes on another one, a, a new addition to the family, the not so distant. Got a variety of salespeople right out there that will beckon, <laughs> get you whatever you want right now. Yeah, I have no doubt. Uh, how about the showroom? Is this amazing? Oh, it's spectacular. You know, you, you talk about walking through, like the Porsche experience. You ever been to it in Atlanta? Uh, at the track there, the track. it's an amazing experience. I love it. Um, and you, you come here and you feel like walking around this showroom and you're getting the same kind of experience. And uh, as we're progressing through this yeah. COVID-19, CDC compliance, feel comfortable to come into the showrooms. Uh, it's, it's, it's really a second to none. But Larry, let me talk about that for a moment too, because something that um, you, you might not realize with Brayman is they have taken such great care and, and customer service is always exceptional. For example, anytime we need service, drop the vehicle off and we have a loaner that's as good or better and it's always that way. However, during COVID and, and right from the word go, when we needed service, they would come out to us. And so Basically. we would have somebody from Brayman um, you know, say, okay, well, would you like to bring to us or would you like to, uh, would you like us to come to you? And my wife in particular, she's at risk. Mm -hmm. And we, with her vehicle, uh, said, why don't you come out? Well, they came out and ended up bringing her a vehicle, took great care of hers, came back, beautiful spotless as always, because of course they always, uh, you know, do such a great job maintaining sure. washing the vehicles along with the service. And so it's a seamless experience. So even if you're, you have somebody in your house, maybe you and you're a little bit concerned, they can take care of you. I mean, they'll deliver new vehicles right to your door for that matter. It's been amazing how we've evolved now. We're, we're month six, six into this and uh, just the, the protocols and everything uh, maneuvering along the way. But, uh, you know, these guys, it's just a, an operation that I've never seen before. The partnership that we've had with iHeart and Brayman, Danny Bayard, Steve Grossman, second to none. And again, trying to keep everybody engaged now till we get back to our events. Uh, it's been very well received, and again, we're just thrilled to have you here. Oh, it, it's a, a pleasure to be here. You do a show in West Palm Beach, News Radio yep. 1290, JNO. Also, a show airs afterwards in Miami, and then you fill in for Rush. Uh, I'm, I'm saying Rush, Mark Levin, uh, the great one. We have our great one here. So you had another I, trifecta I mean, this week with it. One. You, you have the ah, great, I'm five foot six and 149. I'm the diminutive one. Now, uh, I, I like to say, Larry, and, and I appreciate it. I, I live on the periphery of people far more impressive than myself. Uh, so, for example, you know, you, like you have cogs in a wheel. I'm always the least significant cog, but it's kind of cool to be a cog uh, in the wheel for sure. He's very modest. Uh, the, the Mark Levin Radio Network is on how many stations around the country? 425. Okay, so uh, Monday night you were on 425 stations. So, uh, not diminutive at all. And uh, one of the uh, most credible uh, personalities in this market, news, uh, 
What's going on now? We got an election coming up in 60 days? Yeah, you might have heard something about it. <laughs> but that's it. He's he, a resident. We, we're, we're talking about under two months away, and he yeah. is. He, the, the president is a resident, obviously, for the first time, uh, and will be voting. And you interviewed him within the past few months? Uh, sure enough. So, I mean, well, and, and this is one of the things. I'll, I'll share a quick story about uh, the president for a moment. So most of my experience with Donald Trump comes prior to him being involved in politics. First time, actually, uh, I had an experience with him. He ended up cutting some material for us uh, back during uh, the 2006 hurricane season. And so, wow. Yeah, I just came in the studio, <laughs> said uh, I had an opportunity. I was talking to him um, and I said, hey, do me a favor and just record some of these things. And he did. And so we kind of forged a relationship a little bit that way. And he listens. Uh, he has listened to the morning show on WJNO and has heard me for a number of years when he had been around. And um, I, I had an opportunity on, on a few different occasions to have lunch with them and that type of thing. We've been lucky so far in regards to hurricane season. You pick it up a notch during <laughs> this time of year as well. You and your partner, Joel Malkin, a phenomenal yeah. job. Uh, if electricity goes out, you know, everybody tunes into JNO. We partner with uh, several other TV stations in the market. So a credible voice for information. We've got another, what? two full months to go with that. So hopefully uh, September like there's some 10th. more activity in the uh, coming off of the African coast. I always keep my eye on September 10th. It's absolute peak hurricane season. And That's Irma incidentally uh, ended up coming our way September 10th back in 2017. But yeah, um, we do peak hurricane season the last two weeks of August, first two weeks of September. But yeah. once you get back past September 10th, uh, historically, the activity begins to go the other way very quickly. So on that day, to me, I'm like, okay, let's get Good. to the other side. Uh, Obviously, we've had things like Wilma that have come in October, but we'll... Several. Keep the fingers crossed. Yeah, for sure. It's been an interesting ride. We're uh, six months in. What are your thoughts in regards to when is this going to stop? Will it stop? Is this the new norm? It's going to change? Vaccine? What, what do we... There are several things I take a look at. I mean, I'm always, I'm a pragmatist. I'm driven by information and facts. And uh, I always say two sides of stories, one side of facts. And uh, if the premise of anything is false, anything built on it is too. So this was all new. We've learned a lot over the course of time. You have things like uh, from the onset that were misleading. We were told at the onset, oh, mask, they really aren't effective. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we found out very quickly that was probably just to make sure that there were enough for first responders and we were kind of being right. duped. There are other things that have turned out to be true, right? Which is people with pre-existing conditions, this is that big of a deal. So yes. you know, if you take a look at the CDC information that we received recently, really what it told us is if you do not have pre-existing conditions, if you're not in that at-risk category, then th this really isn't that big of a deal. However, if you are in that at-risk category, this is much worse than viruses that we're accustomed to, like the flu. And so that's where it's the feast or famine kind of thing. So, you know, from a point of practicality, uh, you know, obviously we need to be serious, and it's two and a half times more contagious than the traditional flu. Um, but we're very close to treatment options and the vaccines, and I think that's what a lot of people are looking for. But where I come from, just in a, in a point of taking information and running with it, we have numerous studies at this point that show that Mask and social distancing are more effective than lockdowns. Phase two will begin uh, next week, so hopefully Phase we're going in the right direction. Phase two ish. Ish. Yeah. So you you <laughs> can have movie theaters open. You can get your tattoo. I'm. You could bowl. You know what? I'm trying to quit the tattoo thing. You I mean, can go you, to a movie. <laughs> but again, can I go to a bar? And they yeah, two ish. Well, but you can go to a bar, but only if that bar is inside of a restaurant. If the bar is a bar, then the bar, the virus finds that bar and it's bad. Yeah. But if you have food yeah. and you have bar, then the virus stays away from the bar and you go to the bar. Yeah, yeah, Makes sense. So the bag of Cuomo chips, <laughs> you know. Unreal. This is what happens when you Just have move the goalpost. Yes, this is what happens when you have <laughs> uh, officials that make it up as they go. So. Unreal. Yeah. Unreal. Uh, let's uh, let's just hope that things get better. Yeah, uh, they are. We're getting there. It's been a crazy year. We'll continue to be. We'd love to get some normalcy back. But if you want normalcy, come on out to Club Raymond, Raymond Motor Cars. Uh, I happen to be Porsche today. I have to correct you. If you want normalcy, no. If you want something uh, extraordinary. Well, uh, it's our if normalcy. You want, if you want something extraordinary, you, you, you come here. This is something else. Yeah. That's about it. Brian Mudd. Thank you. This was great. And, uh, Pleasure. You know, you guys just uh, be safe and take care, and uh, we'll see you soon.